Saturday, October 13th, demonstrations took place across the world to mark the Global Noise Day of Action, targeting economic elites. Activists say are responsible for increasing debt and austerity measures. Protests were held in Chicago, Illinois, London, England, Amsterdam, Netherlands, Mexico City, Mexico, Madrid, Spain, and other cities. In New York City, Occupy activists gathered at Columbus Circle, a popular tourist destination located at the southwest corner of Central Park in one of the wealthiest zip codes in the country. Participants held general assemblies to discuss increasing economic inequality due to foreclosures and rising student and consumer debt. What we're at in this country is we, we have a value system which is called the American dream. And so many of us have bought into this American dream and we're, we're stifled by it. Um, banks take control of this country, take control of our lives and get us in a situation where all we do is pay, pay, pay and we get nothing back in return. Government is cutting services, cutting monies, and we're suffering because of it. Activists also created a giant boulder made out of cloth and filled with inflated balloons. Dominic Ryan said it symbolizes the crushing level of debt many face. This boulder is, is intended to you know, remind people of the Greek myth of Sisyphus, who was doomed to an eternity in hell having to forever push a boulder up the mountain. And you know, once he gets to the top, it just falls right back down. And he just has to start pushing it up again. Um, so you know, our, our debts that we'll never be able to pay off, it, it, it's like that burden. Um, so if you look closely at, at the boulder, we've had people write all over it. They'll write how much they owe, how long they think it's going to take for them to pay off their debt, if they think they are going to be able to. In many cases, they, it's forever. Um, or just a message to their, their bank or their creditors. Um, and it's sort of a, a group therapy. People can look at this and see that they're not alone. This isn't just a, a, an individual problem. This is a problem that is systemic. Demonstrators in New York's protests, like others in cities around the world, brought pots, pans, and utensils which they used to make noise and draw attention to their demands. Outside the luxury apartments located at 15 Central Park West, Protesters targeted Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein. Blankfein did not make an appearance, but activists carried out a mic check to emphasize the role Blankfein and Goldman Sachs played in the economic crisis of 2008 by selling consumers risky mortgage assets, betting against them, and then profiting when the market collapsed. The significance today of this Global Noise Day de Casarlazo is how global it is. I think. Marina Citrin is a scholar and activist who studied and taken part in movements fighting for economic justice around the world. This has been taking place throughout all of Europe, in Latin America, um, and also I think significant is this tactic of banging pots and pans, the cacerola. It actually comes from Argentina post-economic crisis when the whole economy bottomed out in 2001, and that banging of pots and pans has moved and moved to Spain with the Democracia Real Ya, the 15M movement, and then moved to Quebec with the students' movement, and then it's moving throughout the U.S. and now today all around the world. So we see how actually global we really are even in the tactics we're choosing. Some, including Lois Nazi, joined to gain support for a planned protest at today's presidential debate, which is being held in Long Island. My comrades in, on Long Island and uh, in Occupy Wall Street, we've put together a uh, something we call Occupy the Debate. Um, we're going to march uh, as close as we can get around uh, Hofstra University. Um, and this is something we're doing uh, because we believe that uh, we're misrepresented if, if we're represented at all, and um, you know, so uh, we don't support any any political parties, and uh, we're there to uh, protest the fact that um, you know our voices aren't heard in government. Activists continued marching and banging pots and pans at various targets in the city throughout the night. Reporting for FSRN and the Real News, this is Jessel Noor in New York.